2024 has been racing past and now we have that first post Android 15 update. Yes, we're back with the Pixel update bulletin this time for November 2024. What's going on? Well, we're going to tell you, so don't worry about it. First though, how about hitting that subscribe button? It helps me and it helps you as you get information like this on the latest OTA update for Pixel phones. What's in it, what's not in it and what it fixes. But let's get into the nitty gritty. So the November patch is later than usual. I actually wonder if it's a knock on effect of the recent US presidential election. I'm not getting political. It's obviously one of those things that does knock on things. So anyway, this patch is rolling out for the Pixel 6, the 6 Pro, the 6A, the Pixel 7, the 7 Pro, the 7A, the Pixel Tablet, the Pixel Fold, the Pixel 8, the 8 Pro, the 8A, the Pixel 9, the 9 Pro, the 9 Pro Excel and the 9 Pro Fold. Hopefully I haven't missed any there. This patch actually varies in size, but it's about 50 to 60 megabytes on the Pixel 9 series, at least in our testing. It's around about 57.2 megabytes on the Pixel 9 Pro Fold for what it's worth. That's the on-device OTA. That's if you collect this or you get a notification on your device. You're going to be flashing at least a two gigabyte plus file if you want to manually sideload this yourself. And I do recommend learning how to do this for what it's worth. There will be a link in the description below to the guide I created quite a while ago on how to flash or sideload updates on your Pixel phone. So the most obvious new addition in the Pixel patch here is the November 2024 security patch. This includes 21 resolutions or security related resolutions for issues dedicated to the Pixel security patch here and three resolutions that are specifically tailored to Pixel phones. And these range from high to critical. So it's worth updating, making sure your phone is nice and safe and secure for the months to come. Apologies, that's the boring bit out of the way. Now let's get into what has been resolved for what device, but please know it's heavy on the new units, at least at this time, as again, they're the most recent. There's a lot more problems probably to fix with that new cohort. So if you have a Pixel 9 of any flavor, that includes a fold as well, the November patch addresses a few things, including improving your device's Bluetooth range. For what it's worth, it has been a little finicky for me in my experience, sometimes dropping out or momentarily dropping out when I'm paired to my headphones or even my car and I move away. That is supposedly fixed now or at least mitigated. I haven't been able to test this, but at least Google is addressing it here. And remember those really annoying issues with camera tilt on the Pixel 9 Pro and the 9 Pro XL? I don't know if this actually affected the other devices where basically it would rotate slightly when you switched lenses, especially to those telephoto lenses. Supposedly this has been said to be fixed with the November 2024 security patch. I haven't been able to properly test this, but I did have this problem, so I'm hopeful it is resolved because it really was an embarrassing issue, wasn't it, on a brand new phone? Anyway, as I say, that should be fixed now, so it means you shouldn't have to tilt your phone to get straight images when you're using that telephoto zoom lens. So great news for people who take a lot of photos and even videos. There are also a couple of display fixes, including some related to white dots or artifacts flashing on certain sections of the screen. The note here is that if you do have the Pixel 8a, you shouldn't see any brightness flicker as often now as that has been marked as resolved as well. This is something I didn't notice on my own 8A unit. So hopefully you're gonna have a better time as well. Google has also claimed they've fixed the annoying issue on Pixel 9 series handsets where the adaptive brightness doesn't kick in properly sometimes. I think this has been super annoying and I was constantly adjusting brightness manually to adjust for this. So I'm happy this one has been fixed. It should mean when you're moving into different lighting conditions, the auto brightness should kick in a little bit better, that adaptive brightness setting that is, and you should have a better experience with those exceptional screens on the Pixel 9 series. And that touchscreen bug where you couldn't dismiss the keyboard sometimes has also been marked as fixed. I haven't seen this for a few weeks, but it was annoying on the Pixel 9 Pro XL. That seems to be where it's most prominent. If you had to actually dismiss the keyboard using that little arrow, that little chevron, it just wouldn't let you touch the corner of the screen. You'd have to lock or reopen the application or force stop or even restart because some corner taps wouldn't register. It seems to be, uh, or it seems to be a lot better at least with this particular update. There's only one other thing noted in this update and that's for every single device listed. Google has said that animations and UI transitions should be, be improved for every supported device with this November 2024 update. I, I think it's sometimes obviously the placebo effect in action, but every single month when I throw an update on my Pixel phones, the phone definitely feels a little bit smoother after flashing the latest public build, but you tell me, does your Pixel feel smoother after updating or conversely, are you seeing any extra issues? There are 15 devices getting updates, so it's difficult for us to test all of those effectively. Like I say, there's always a feeling that my phone 
is a little bit smoother right after an update, but I'm sure it's all in my head. Let us know what you're experiencing down in the comment sections below if you're seeing issues or if any other issues that weren't listed here have been fixed. This is just what Google has been made publicly available with this patch. So there are some things that can get resolved and people aren't aware of. So let us know down there as well. I've also linked to the full update or the full bulletin if you want more information, more of the technical information of what's been fixed fixed down in the description below. And of course, there's that link as well showing you how to sideload updates on your Pixel if you are still waiting for the OTA ping. Sometimes it can take a few days, but alternatively, you can do things like head to settings and check manually yourself. So go into the settings application, scroll down to system, hit software updates, then tap that system update section. This is a brand new UI for Android 15. It should refresh and pull the OTA if it is waiting. It might take a little while to download. Sometimes it takes a little bit while, especially a long time on mobile data, and you'll get another notification that a restart is required or needed for that update to be applied. It's all super easy, it's super simple, and I do think this is one of the best things about using a Pixel. You get those regular updates and they are super easy to install. So of course, there's a lot of things to take in. I've taken up a lot of your time already, so I'm just gonna get out of here. Hopefully it has fixed your problems. Thanks for watching though, and I will speak to you later.